Amy, how did you find Dragon Shake? You know, I was approached by um, an incredible guy that you have on your team, uh, Trey. And you know, from, from introduction one, Trey and I just synergized. And we synergized because it came from the top, right? It came from you, um, you know, e evaporating into all the other people that work alongside you. And, um, you know, when we began to build a relationship and really talk about, um, you know, why I chose not to go with IBM and, and to partner in that way, um, and to look at real solutions that we're solving real time problems. I think a lot of times in healthcare, as, as Phil knows and, and Nina as well, you know, sometimes because we have a particular brand uh, name that is well known throughout the world, it doesn't necessarily mean that, that we bring the quality to the table. You know, Gold Stem is known for being great at muscles, not perfume and cosmetics, right? And sometimes we find that in the in the world of, of different industries is we think that because we have a certain name that that means that that credibility and integrity follows all the way through to the, the technology. Yeah. And I think it's really important that there's always those provocateurs that are pushing the edge and, and always um, bringing to, to the conversation something that's meaningful uh, to a market and letting them respond in a real meaningful way. And uh, I think, you know, when, when we met, um, you know, one of the things that, um, you know, certainly kind of was a, was a plus for me was understanding really what the vision was for Dragon Chain. Um, I'm a dominant type of individual when it comes to my lane and, and I'm going to own that. And, and uh, we're poised to hold the largest amount of integrative health data by 2023. So we want to work with a group of people who can handle the scalability and that bandwidth, uh, handle the, uh, the, the compliance and the regulatory factors that go along with that in healthcare and EMR, um, but also being able to uh, you know, create an immutable environment that is nearly unhackable, right? Um, you know, we're on the heels of, sw uh, of smart uh, computers and, and quantum computing. And I love the fact that we're building Rome, anticipating those things as being in filtrants and, and potential, you know, antagonists to the system itself, right? And building and anticipating that. And so understanding, you know, when we talk uh, quantum resistance, um, you know, we're talking in, in my kind of uh, space and headspace as we build towards the future and really create these ecosystems that can interoperate, you know. Um, and I love that, you know, hearing Trey share that that was the big picture and the big vision and being able to reward that as we will be doing as well is is so incredibly important to me to be able to give a good solid experience in an ecosystem that is trustworthy and gives them the resources and the tools that they need. Um, yeah. And let me do my job. Yeah. What, and can you tell what, what, um, what uh, big picture uh, will, will you be using uh, of, of all the blockchain capabilities of Dragon Chain? You know, what, what are you uh, expecting to use the tech directly for? And, and, and I guess, um, you know, what's the most important feature of, of those, you know, or, or you know, what's the most important capability that we would cite? God, you know, it's that's a convoluted question for me because there's many layers to that answer. Um, I think the enterprise is what works really incredibly well for me is that there's different, you know, H gateways, if you will, of apps within the apps that are really going to be meaningful to, you know, I want it all in the palm of one hand. I want that functionality. I want to be that solution. And I think having the ability to have a wallet, have, um, you know, that immutable environment, be able to transact and upload data and information in real time and be able to uh, on and offline and, and be able to connect with community. All these different features are so incredibly important to my ecosystem with our application called Stream Health. So it's we want to stream in good and stream out great and um, be able to utilize that in, in great ways. But partnering with a group that understands the capability of, of um, what we're looking to accomplish and it fits simultaneously into that ecosystem and environment, I think is a winning opportunity. Um, you know, I want people to know that we are the go-to application um, for 
in health telehealth, um, really creating that disconnect between patient, provider, and consumer, and manufacturer, and research. So I, I love being able to have that broad picture. I'm a very broad stroke individual when it comes to when I built my company, um, you know, Aegis means shield in Greek. And so I meant that from care to cure. And in our technology at Stream Health, it's really important to me that we create this ecosystem that is valued. It's independent of within the healthcare ecosystem and be able to toggle along and be able to bring healthcare with us. We have to set the pace. We're following the global market and presenting solutions to them that are turnkey versus these legacy ideologies that really happen in healthcare where, you know, because of who we are, we, you know, everyone will follow. And that's not necessarily true. You look at blockchain and crypto and we understand that that's very, very different and very, uh, you know, it's, it's created a new pathway for people to solve real problems, uh, independent of old ideologies and old legacy uh, um, technology. And it's why crypto and it's why the blockchain are going to be the future, um, as we all know. Right, right, right. Um, that's good. That's good because there's, there's, there's so much that fits in, especially in healthcare where interop, interop is needed, and that's one of the things that you know probably the most important part of blockchain interop, at least right now, is traditional interop. You know, traditional systems, at least in our in our minds. Most of the other blockchain companies don't pay attention to that because they're focused entirely on moving tokens between platforms and things like that, which, you know, is, is all good, but it's not something that uh, probably matters to 99.99% of, of all businesses, right? You know, we're, we're really wanting to focus on what are the things that we can do with real business. Um, and, our, you know, the funniest thing is I think our biggest uh, hurdle is not the message itself, not what we're community, communicating, but... Um, what is being communicated elsewhere because if someone just goes to google and asks that question they're going to come up with uh, a horrible I mean, it's a headache of of you know all the information is oh you can't do this you can't do that and um it's you know it's impossible and why would you ever want to do it blockchain's not for that blah 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 um and so we're up against tons and tons of you know paid articles and um and uh, you know, just a lot of noise. So it's really good when somebody you know sees it and can get to it, and they think about it. Uh, maybe you know, step back and look at the big picture and say it's just software, right? It's a different kind of software. It has unique capabilities um, and unique risks, right? But it's still just software. So um, that's what's usually needed.